check. Check one. Can you hear me? So you can unmute yourselves and you still don't have to show yourself if you don't want to, but I know there's some people in the back. Um, just if you want to just have a conversation, now is the time. This is our post show. It is still recording and will still be a part of the show. Um, any, Josephine, are you raising your hand or are you turning? <laughs> She's raising her hand. You got to unmute yourself. <laughs> Hi, Josie. Hi, Josie. Stop driving and talking. What's up, my people? <laughs> hey, Josie. Oh, you look wonderful. <laughs> So much, thank you so much. I'm out here getting ready to do some, some work. <laughs> and uh, I was just, I would just wanted to, uh, uh, to do this with you. Hold on one second. Am I safe here? Right there. Thank you so much. I love you, sis. <laughs> so, um, I just want to uh, make sure that we are taking care of ourselves. Um. Uh, John had said something really positive, you know, that we we uh, we live it, but now we got to tell it. And the, the truth is loud. So let's just keep the truth going. There are some of us that are, are, are great in a fight, but we're not great at living. We got, we, we can always fight. If, matter of fact, that's how we deal with life. We always in a battle, but we should really take the time out to celebrate the low hanging fruit. The stuff that we, that's tangible to us. And, and what I used to do that I need to start get, get back doing consistently is at the end of my day, I reflect on my day and I rejoice about my day. Number one, I made it through it. Number two, what I got accomplished. And number three, what I learned. And then number four, what was I willing to sacrifice in order to be okay? And then what was I willing to sacrifice in order for somebody else to be okay? Because what I learned is this. I have to be willing to sacrifice. I have to be willing to accept the pain for me to be okay before I do it for you because I don't need to be somebody's martyr if I don't know how to take care of myself. It's, it's, it's a false narrative. It's a lie. It's, it's that I'm so busy taking care of this outward that I won't handle the stuff on the inside, which is toxic. That's the stuff that can kill me. This stuff on the outside might be able to bruise me, but I might be able to heal from that. But that stuff which I let in, that can kill me. So I just encourage us to, to do that and, and be truthful about that as well. You know, um, we, we, I need to be truthful that that pain that I'm feeling. Um, I was talking with my grandkids. Be real quick. Talking with my grandkids. And I realized that I had six children naturally birthed. And each time that I was getting ready to have labor, the, the, the memory of that pain oh, messed me up. Sometimes the people that we, we are, we're trying to figure out, how come they ain't out here? How come they ain't doing it? You, you, if we think about this, and this is not an excuse, it's a reality. It's keeping the truth before us. When you in pain, experiencing pain, and then know you're getting ready to go into pain, it can stop you in your tracks and you can't figure out why you're not finishing what you started or why you won't go or why you won't be out protesting or why you won't talk to somebody or why you won't do that. And if you recognize what it is and call it out for what it is, you can, you can challenge it. You can, you can deal with it. But if you're, if you're always for the sake of cause you're in the battle fighting, I don't, I don't know when you are healing. Does that make sense? Miss Darlene, my, my friend, does that make sense? That when, makes sense. When do, you, when do you take care of you? And I mean really take care of you. Be honest. I was scared to death when I was standing before that. Michelle said something because um, uh, she's out of town. Um, I'm going to acknowledge the fact that it took hella courage for you to walk up off that stage being a performer. Hella courage. Because you yeah. could have snapped. You could have snapped out, you know. She could, yeah. she could, Melanie, right? Melanie yeah. could have snapped out. Then she would have been like the one, you know. But because you don't know what to do, I, my motto is: in, when, um, when in doubt, do nothing. Center yourself. 
figured out. Don't just give out an answer because you think you need to. For her to walk off that stage and be alone, it ain't like she walked off the stage and she was at home. She walked off a stage out there with people that agreed or openly did not fight against. Mm -hmm. It was like, that's cool. <laughs> and she stepped <laughs> in that moment. And yeah. she had to take it upon herself to just be like, without words, because sometimes your actions speak louder than your words. And so I just want us to understand that when you face with the pain, acknowledge that. Take care of yourself. Love on yourself. So because, uh, uh, you know, I got this belief that I'm supposed to love my neighbor as I love myself. If you don't know how to love yourself, I would ask you to hold back your love for me. Because you're not going to be able to last. Because I'm, I'm a lot to deal with. I love y'all so much. <laughs> so good to see love you, Josephine. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for your wisdom. So I, and I want to speak to that. I'm sorry that Melanie is gone yeah. now, but Melanie is a, is a true ally. <laughs> I've, I've worked with her for years in music and it takes a lot to, to be brave in a space. Everybody, I mean, just because you don't walk off a stage or you don't um, confront someone right away, you will eventually, you'll get there. We need you to get there. Um, there are so many different ways to be an ally. Um, and, and I just have to use myself as an example. Uh, when Margot Price spoke up for me with what I'm going through with uh, the other situation, which we're not going to talk about, but, but when she spoke up in the country world, she made a ripple. And that took guts to get up and speak. That took a lot of guts to get up and speak um, for, for me as a black artist, as a black woman, and to go against country music that way. That took a lot of courage. Everybody is not there, but I believe that you'll get there. Mm -hmm. I do. Just because you're having this conversation. I love you. So Darlene, I don't know where that is. I saw Patricia's hand. Patricia. Oh, Patricia. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, what you, I mean, everything is so powerful. The one thing and there's so much that's resonating. And I know that it's going to be going through my spirit and my soul um, and, you know, my mind for days to come. And I know that. But there's one piece that was said, which was um, silence is powerful. And I, I was like, oh, let me marinate on that. And then what I realized is, you know, there are a lot of times when I am silent. I'm not saying something. And, but what I realize is I'm listening and I'm hearing other people and I'm taking in what they're saying. And I don't want to come back with, you know, with judgment. So it's kind of like I'm silent until I can get my thoughts together. And know if this is really something I can contribute or is it, am I remaining silent because I'm fearful of people's reaction on what I say, how I say it, acceptance and all of that. So I think that was just a real serious piece where I'm really thinking about that because silence is powerful, but you have to begin to be uncomfortable and speak out, you know? Like you say, Anita, uh, teach one, um, we have to do it. We, we have to be able to share. Um, and it's a lot of work, a whole lot of work, but I, I just feel like with us as uh, BIPOC people, we have an enormous, challenge just getting things right with us. The silence can be a tool and so can speaking, right? It's, a, it's like we have a toolkit and sometimes, mm -hmm. sometimes silence says more than words and sometimes words need to be said, right? And so you're always in that, yeah, like is this a time to speak or is this a time mm -hmm. to just 
let the truth speak for itself. And which was, you know, that, that was the strategy that was chosen. And I think that that's all in the range of, of possibility for you too. It's like, oh, today I'm just going to hold this. Let somebody else speak to it. Let somebody else figure it out. And then some other day it might be, no, today's the day I have to speak truth to power. Right. It's, it's all valid. valid. Mm -hmm. Right. It's all valid. <laughs> yeah. And I think that if you get used to, you know, holding yourself back that you end up that becomes your habit so that when you go to speak it feels really bizarre so the idea is to like balance it balance that silence with speaking too because you want to be used to it so it doesn't feel like this big leap of faith to open your mouth and say what you want to say as a as a quaker we're always talking about coming out of the silence and letting spirits speak through us. So allowing yourself, that's why I'm so hip on getting people to breathe before they say something, because it helps them have a moment where they are just like, okay, let me gather myself and then speak to whatever's happening in this moment. And it's, it's very powerful when people measure their words. Does anybody else have a comment that they want to make or because Darlene is still here and and bless her heart because Darlene, I know you work so hard during the week. I appreciate you so much. It's great She's, to hang out with you, Lady A. I don't get that much. I love, um, for those that, you know, for those that don't know Darlene, you might want to look her up. She is, she's my mentor. I, I look up to her especially in doing this work, but as a person, she's amazing. <laughs> she's phenomenal as a person. But doing this work, I just, um, I challenge you to look her up to find out more about her and the work that she does. She's amazing at doing this work. Um, I have some people in the chat that are saying, oh, <laughs> so Marin, I don't know where she went because everybody's all over the screen, but oh, there you are, Marin. Yes, there will be a male discussion just for men, but women will be allowed to be um, on the listening panel only. You will not get to ask questions. It is strictly going to be for the men. So if you have men that are um, interested, we are looking for white and BIPOC men to have a conversation amongst themselves. Ladies, I'll get back to you eventually, where we'll have an all lady, but women, we usually speak up. <laughs> um, this is, so yes, to answer your question, yes, you will be able to, um, to give me men's names that you think might be, uh, that might be interested in having this conversation. It is important that we um, allow our men to speak up and be able to speak to each other. They don't need to talk to us. <laughs> Darlene, tell me if I'm wrong, but you know. No, I think that there's a lot of, I mean, we, anytime we convene these conversations, women uh, out, out tend to outnumber the men who come in naturally to the conversation. I think there's some very real reasons for that. And, and they're not all bad. I mean, they're not bad reasons. They're just, there's some reasons for it that aren't naturally occurring. And so whenever we see those kinds of patterns that tend to uh, not include all the voices that we actually need to, to get free, uh, it's good to create the spaces for that. I think that's fabulous. And that's the whole my question specific, excuse me. My question specifically was, it's Mara in here. Yes, uh, yeah. Is that information on your website or will you be sending it out? Because I do have a couple of men. This is what happens. I get these bright ideas <laughs> uh -huh. and then and then I have to think, okay, so how am I going to do this? What's it going to happen? Roz and I talk and we are, we have our meeting next week. I had the idea a couple of weeks, um, but as you know, I've been just like crazy, but I think it is important that we allow men to speak. Yeah. And so it, upcoming events will be on the Truth Is Out page. This is okay. the end of the summer event. We did one last month, we did one this month. I'm gonna wait until October to do the next one. This will give everybody an opportunity. Um, it'll give me an opportunity to update our website, the Truth Is Out Loud website with information, self-care, because this work is not easy. Um, it'll give you a time. We'll be posting more videos, especially some Brian's. I'm just in love now, Darlene. Thank you. <laughs> did you, did you I love his work. Did you see the movie that they made no. about him? 
No, not the oh. movie. I'm, that's oh, what I'm saying. Got, I got all the stuff yeah, I need to good. watch now. Yeah, they made, it, it was out about a month or two ago, and it's called uh, Just Mercy. It's the same as the title of his book, Just Mercy. Mm -hmm. Just Mercy. Right. So I'll be watching that. Um, so definitely be watching that. But that's where you'll be able to find some information. Okay. And, and, about and Lady A, I, wanna, I was also pleased to hear your time about doing something for musicians. My sister is a music educator in Portland. She works with other teachers and schools to bring and she specifically was telling me she wants to um, learn more about how to fold this in to the music she takes to elementary school age kids. Right, because we need more inclusiveness in the music industry as yeah. we can tell. <laughs> and in, in blue societies, music societies all over the world, it's not just in Seattle, it's all over. Um, I've talked to many people uh, from across the country um, that talk about the lack of inclusiveness in, in the music industry. So, and we're talking about local, national, international industries. So that will be another discussion that will be had. If you have any other, I, I'm all about just talking. Yes. You, Nita, if I could just <laughs> add with that. Uh, yes, Josephine, wherever you are. Yeah, I just was going to say, uh, it helps if we stop. If, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes. It helps, and, I, and I'm not putting any shade on anybody. If we start focusing on telling the truth in our music rather than what could sell and what can make a profit, then we could help in the music industry. We have a platform and we have a responsibility. You're not given a gift for you. You're given a gift that not just for you. Let me put it like that. You're given the gift that you could be shared with the world to help lift up, elevate, bring light to, and all those other different things. And so rather than trying to make something that's poppy or something that people would like, the way we can use our platform with music is to tell the truth, all the truth, not just the truth that we like. Right. And, and Josephine's right. And, and everybody on here is not a musician, but Roz and I and, and Darlene, and people who, who and, and Josephine that are in the music industry, this is a truth, um, which is why I made the song The Truth Is Loud. Um, that's another reason why um, my blues is not just like everybody else's around the world, because I hope to inspire and encourage people with the lyrics. So when you listen to the lyrics of my songs, you will notice that they are, there's a truth to them. Um, change the world. The truth is loud. My kind of blues. There are truths to those songs, which is why when I do my Back Porch Blues show, I educate in music. But that's another conversation that's down the line and we will have musicians from all over so you will be able to listen. You'll be on the mute, you can be on the listening panel, but there will be musicians from across the, um, uh, uh, across the country and in Europe, we had to. We didn't. Our European friends didn't come on this one, but they were on the last one. Anybody else have anything else they want to say? Just thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for being a part. I really do appreciate y'all. So uh, we're going to close out now. If there's no, nobody else that has anything, I don't want to cut anybody short. No. I think <laughs> I'm so glad you did this. Great to see Patricia and Queen and Anita and Debbie. I haven't seen in many years. Hi, Patricia. It's Miley. Um, Hi, Miley. Hope you're all doing well. Great to see you moving there into your homes and our, our home commuting life you now. <laughs> so did you have something else you wanted to say, Miley? Uh, yeah, the journey continues. You know, I've, um, I've had the privilege of making friends with one of the few black people in Bellingham where I live <laughs> and uh, it's it's just been a real treat to become friends with her and we've traveled together and now gone through the death of her mom and just just the real humanity of it all it's, that that word has emerged in um, my own what I'm doing here facilitating workshops and things like that actually um, helping open up the Bellingham Senior Center to be more uh, inclusive. We're talking about, you know, not just exercising, you know, they do workouts through the pandemic, but now exercising your humanity. Uh, we're coming up with ways of, you know, exercising your humanity before you come back and we all come together to do more. Thank you so much. Really nice to see Anyone you. Anyone else? I know. <laughs> I'm glad to see you, Miley. 
I want to thank Janice and Imetis. Is am I how am I saying your name wrong? Imetis. Oh, you have to un unmute your phone. I can't hear you. Well, Roz and Darlene and Marin, Miley, Shardell, Josie, Patricia, and Gail, thank you so much for being on the post call. I uh, really appreciate you all being here. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Remember, the truth is loud. Make sure you listen, and then let's put it into action. Okay, being an ally requires sometimes that you give up something and that you put action behind your words. So that's what we're looking for. All Jen, right. Thank you. Thank you, Anita, so Thank much you. for hosting. Thank you for your vision. Thanks. It's just been amazing. Great. Thank you so much. We will continue the work together. Thank you. Yeah. We are going to... Um, Right now, I'm going to play out the rest of the music, and y'all can go as you please. The truth is loud. Do you hear me? The truth is loud. The truth is loud. Do you hear me? The truth is loud. The truth is loud. Can you hear me?